It's like kicking itself along the seafloor with its weird foot tongue thing. That is so weird. So, it's my first video ever, or in a very long time at least. I've gone for a dive down at Port Nalunga and I've collected a bunch of footage after meeting some cool critters. Now I'm just going to go through the footage and I've, I've had a little look, I've had a little peek, just see what I got. Let's jump right in. Now this guy, I had not seen him before. I said him, but it made me think actually that I don't know the sex of this fish. Hopped onto iNaturalist and I found this Eastern Morwong, which is kind of what it looks like, also known as the Crested Morwong. I saw that there's no range in South Australia, so I was thinking, oh, I've got the first sighting of a Crested Morwong in South Australia, how cool is that? And then I realized that there's another species, which is the Western Crested Morwong. And there's a few sightings in South Australia, so more, more common in Western Australia. But if we zoom in here, you can see that there's eight observations on INAP. Not all the same individual by the looks of it. There's some darker colored ones. Um, and none of them, none of these observations have um, the sex of the fish on the observation. So I've got my two fish books here. And I'm gonna have a look and see if I can find which sex it is. So here we go. To me, that looks like 420. Crested morwong, reasonably common along Western Australia's west coast. No mention of male or female, so I'm gonna have a look at the other fish book, see if I can find it. Now, look at these guys. I don't often see these. I think they're King George Whiting. Yeah, it's King George Whiting. They were just chilling, got pretty close. I think they're uh, probably like a, a pair, maybe like a mating pair, I don't know. It'd be interesting to know how many species of fish mate for life. There's species of like lizard that do that, like the shingleback. Yeah, I don't know how much of it goes on in the ocean. It's so peaceful hanging out with these guys. Oh, and then my favorite, I had to get some footage of the Western Talma. That's such a cool fish. Such a nice design, like a little triangle shape, like a little Dorito. So beautiful. This one wasn't too tame, but that's all right. Yeah, this was a bit weird. This um, bone, I'm guessing of some sort of, I reckon it was like a Port Jackson shark or something like that, because there's a lot of them around Port Malonga and I don't know what else would have a bone like that. Razorfish, looked really strange inside. See it filter feeding. So this is probably the thing I saw most of that day, which they're actually really weird looking worms. I've never actually seen them like this. I've maybe seen a glimpse of one, but they were just all stretched out along the seafloor. They blend into the sand, but there were so many of them. So a big old dusky morwong, aka a strongy. Such a beautiful fish. So tame as well. This was pretty cool. I saw this thing in the distance and I actually thought it was the old stairs at Port Nalunga because they are down there somewhere. But I was like, what is that in the distance? And then I got a bit closer and it's actually an old pylon like a jetty pylon. It looked like a big log and I was like, wow, what kind of tree is that from? But no, it was a, like a jetty pylon. And then I think you can see in the end of the pylon, it's kind of hollowed out and there's, I knew there would be something in there. So I got my little video light and I turned it on. Ready for the reveal. Who's in that hole? Look at this dude. Ah, it's a little crab. Quite a big crab actually, probably like this big. But it might be a lobster or something, I couldn't quite see. But it's hard to get a good lighting with just one light in a hole. So cool. And yeah, I took more footage of these worms. So weird. I don't even know what they are. I think they're some sort of flat one. Ooh. Sea slug? <clears throat> I don't know. It doesn't look like anything like this. How weird. Ugh. Don't look up marine worms, this is kind of gross. Ugh. Anyway, if any of you know what kind of worm that is, 
let me know. It's so weird. And then I just go back in that hole, like, a noodle. Ugh. It's like, gross. I also found this shell that's like the size of my hand. Pretty big. So many worms. This guy's gotta be one of the cutest little fish I've seen. I think it's a pencil weed whiting. Let me have a look. Oh no, a slender weed whiting. Yeah, very cute little slender weed whiting. Ah, oh, and so I came to a realization that these worms are what make all those holes. I don't know if you're familiar, we have all these little mounds under on sandy patches. They have like a hole in the top. And there's these worms just coming out of them. Makes me kind of creeped out. This little dude was so cute. It's a little pygmy leather jacket. He was running away from me, but I remember I got him to turn. Or, oh, yeah, there, yeah, hello. What a cute little fish. <laughs> then you see this little shrimp next to this one of these worm mounds. Shrimpy dude. <laughs> That's so cute. This was weird. I mollusks move in such weird ways. Look at it. It's like kicking itself along the seafloor with its weird foot tongue thing. That is so weird. And I think it saw me and it got shy. I just never knew that they move like that. It's like a muscle or something. And then I was like, what's it doing now? And I I think I go around the other side. How weird. Now it's like digging itself in. Look at that. It just pulls itself up. Yeah, so weird. Mollusks or gastropods. I'm not sure. Sea snails and like scallops and stuff. Bivalves. They are a type of mollusk. But look at that. It's just completely buried itself now because it obviously perceived me as a bit of a threat. But it was totally just like boop, 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 hopping along the sea floor. Like, sea creatures do weird things when you're not looking at them, I swear. I don't know what this video is. Oh, I got low on air. Um, 60, what's that? 60 bar, so thought I'd head back. I was actually further away from the jetty than I thought, so I kind of just used up a bunch of air swimming back, but um, it was a good dive. So peaceful, so many fish. I feel really protected and safe on the inside of that reef. I do want to get a some kind of full face mask set up going so I can talk while I'm underwater. Um, so subscribe if you're keen to see that. And that concludes my dive. Thanks for watching.